Welcome to the World Series. This is now my fifth time being here in this big stage. First time, of course, since joining the Diamondbacks. Already in year two. Already in year two. Th this is going to be a good one. I, I, I just already know it. It this is going to be a good one. It took a gut wrenching five games. Three those three wins against Milwaukee in dramatic fashion. Came back down two games to one also the against the Chicago Cubs. Another edition of Major one League and six. Baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the New York Yankees now, and the, the New Arizona York Yankees. A rematch of the 2001 again, World Series. Matt Vaskersian, welcome to the World Series here on We have the, the home field advantage. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that My you have to look out for. My former teammate KJ Harrison so the team on the other that gets side. The timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The it's Yankees. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. The team that game one of the fall classic got hot is the on right the time. show, and it's coming up next. This is going to be a heck of an ending. Jorge Santiago gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, this guy's a real good two-seam fastball. Something special is in the air. I've also never won a game one of World Series, so let's make sure we start off on the right foot here. Ariel so already. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. I've got to be on this. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And he is. Oh, he's there. In there. Okay. They couldn't get him at second. So on the wild the pitch. Holds on, but the trailer will take second. Here it comes on nothing and two. As that a really right there, was not one to swing at. The same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Okay, okay. And the slider is way low, but a good job there to knock yeah, this he, one he's down. not gonna. He's not gonna go home. You with that 84 speed, gotta make him elevate here. The one two is a That's fastball good. down below the knees. Number three <laughs> hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Ooh. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And no. he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it. Oh, that was a wasted opportunity there. Uh, I feel so sick to myself with that. I, I got to move plate on. Now, Jamie Lynn skied into straightaway right. right Just fielder missed it. Is on the run. He makes the running play. Oh, Two down. Man. I can't afford a bad game one. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. What's the play ball? Okay, here we go. 
Stepping into the box, the Jamie back. Lynn, oh, as he'll look to bring Trying to make a big impact second, right here, right now. Into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. On a line Are to shortstop. Are you kidding me? Play ball. He's safe. At the plate, Jamie Lynn. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. I just need it's to get a lot on base. Easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters right, counts. This go, guy's man. done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in his own, he's clearly pitching around me. Three and zero to him. But Mendoza can do damage. We've seen that before out of him. And oh, they won't let him walk that easily. As that's ah, somehow that's ruled BS. a strike. Three and one now. And nice and patient. Get your pitch. Green light. And the count will be full. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. The 3 2 pitch. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. Fastball. What? Three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. Play ball. I think... <laughs> you might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find what, a way to really? get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led... That is so friggin' nonsense. I had two of those that were ball four. How do you call those both strikes? Especially that first one. Oh my gosh, that's so messed up. Man, oh, you got me so messed up. Get that umpire out of here. Freaking piece of trash. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have one of these times with the O ones. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another It'll edition be our good of luck, baseball Charm. on the show. Game two of the World Series between the New York Yankees and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Well, in a seven-game series, winning game one on the road is great, but it doesn't mean all that much if you can't back it up and Need win, to game, win two. game two. Need to win game two. win here really puts them in a commanding position. I know position. we can do it. But if they split these first two games, it basically becomes a best of a five-game series starting all over again from scratch. The build-up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Nick Lodolo is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Play ball. He's safe. Into the box. All right. Jamie Lynn. Hurt. No one aboard the for him. And two relax. down here in the first. Lynn. Ground ball left side. Scooped up. I'm too fast. And a close play at oh, first. Come but he's on. Out Are you serious? Ow. 
Man, why are the Yankees all over us like this? Digging in, Jamie Lynn. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. A bouncer to the left side. A diving effort. Here I as barely am going to even get that one. Not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but and not they enough barely to prevent even... them from getting a one-out base runner. So stepping in, Drew Mendoza comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Really impressive pitching right there. Come on, Sometimes Adele. as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. This is oh, high in the air shoot. out toward left center. Why? What? And he'll get there in plenty of time to oh, put this one away. And that I ends. forgot it was freaking two outs. Why was I thinking of trying to go back? I'm stupid. <laughs> now in the box, Jamie. Oh, wow. He's one for I two forgot there the were two game. outs. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball right back to I'm the mound. To second for freaking run. On to first, it's a double play as they're Unfreaking believable. Ready once again, Jamie Lynn. First baseman, Jamie Lynn. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he fouls this one off. A hell too long. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that'll move the runner I'll up to second as it takes away the double play possibility. Hey, up. Your turn right here. Hit hard to third. And that'll right, just right sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The relay throw, and he'll scramble Ooh, back I got lucky. safely. Oh my hey guys, gosh, I got a little he's lucky there. His baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's Come on, Mendoza. And he was able to put good wood on it. Mendoza. Throw over to first. And the Come on, Mendoza. I probably need a steal. And again, a throw. And he just managed to get a hand in. He's probably going to throw it like three or four times. And then I can, you know. Do my thing. Go. Runner goes for second. Hit out towards second. And that's oh. out number one. Shoot. And now they'll slap the tag on him as he tries to get back to second. It's a double play. He's out. Out. You're out. Why did I think for, for a minute that was going through? Oh my gosh. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Every game has our its offensive stars, tonight. and in this First one, he arguably victory. shined the brightest. Freaking thing not even let me exit. So much to to do with, you know, being the, it's a lot of pressure to be the hometown guy to, you know, bring the hometown team a, a championship. We got to, we got to get it together. We gotta get it together. There's no excuses. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's game three of the World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. We cannot fall behind 3-0. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. 
You know, I think the phrase must win is overused in sports. But even though this isn't an elimination game, it does sort of feel like a must win. Doesn't matter what sport you're talking about. If you go down 3-0 in any series, no team has ever come back down 3 nothing in the World Series. Feels like the so. series kind of rides on this game right here. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. The Yankees are going for championship number 28. The Diamondbacks going for their second one. Luis Patino will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Kind of a strange outing in his last one, Matt. Was able to pitch into the sixth inning. Wasn't able to complete the inning. It kind of got away from him in the sixth. It'll be interesting, Matt, to see how he bounces back in this one. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Let's play ball. He's out. Stepping up to the plate, Jamie Lynn. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here it comes. Wind up and the 0 1. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Moncada gloves it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. D backs are down on four. Okay, 1 nothing lead. Settling in now. Jamie Some belt on here. On top of one and was a ground yeah, out victim last time. Yeah. First pitch coming. Here it is. Drives it the Come other on. way to deep right. That's good enough. Oh, uh, makes the catch. Shoot. No, it's not. And we're, oh my gosh, the Yankees are freaking killing us. Stepping in, Jamie okay. Lynn. He flew the out in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went Lynn. deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's I'm missing power, everything. He's feeling pretty too. good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. There we go. I freaking needed deep. that so bad. Look at this. Unbelievable. Okay. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. It's Another double digit home right away run left. postseason ever. First home or so far in the series, and it's a 5-3 game now. Hey, we cannot right there afford to, to go down 3-0. This guy, power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. What's the play ball? Let's go, team. Oh, this is it now. Digging in to try it again. Jamie Lynn, as he's got a chance Driving to tie run. this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Gonsolin, 37 years old. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments hey, along nice the way. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Nope. Outside. Just a bit outside. And he turns this oh, one come on. high and deep to center field. Center Let's field go. Up, still ranging back. Gone. It's a grand slam. Oh, my goodness. How huge was that? 
So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. His second home run of the game as they open up an 8-5 lead. Well, I think I have what he's feeling right now. To hit found the my World series is special. Mojo. To hit a grand slam in the World Series. I don't think there's too many people that could say that. I think I have found my mojo now in the World Series. One more to be oh, no. safe here. Ready now, Jamie Lynn. He's two for two four in the ball game. Huge home runs. A little bit of breathing runs. room here as they lead by three, but the big part of that, go back That's to this ball. guy's last at bat when he hit that big grand slam. One ball, no strikes to count. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Unable two. to find the zone with the slider. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the right fielder. And that is more is than made, deep enough. That's as enough for an RBI pretty as much as deep as you're up. gonna get. Yeah, you can't get any better than third. that. Hey, talk about you want to have a sack fly? Like to see that. You like that that's as good a sack fly as you're gonna get. Come on. Hold it down. We got it. That's where we make our well, comeback. It was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top I knew I had to game. step up there. Well, he blasted a couple of balls it was over the looking wall in this one. Ugly really early put on. The guys on his back and carried him to the victory. That first home run, I, I, that just felt like it kind of started a spark plug. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. The Arizona Diamondbacks the trail two games to one. Two games to one. Now we do not want to fall down three games to one. This Yankee squad definitely got hot at the right time. I give them that. In the 2024 World Series, when the Diamondbacks faced the Twins, they lost in five games. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another Tell edition of Baseball on the Show. It's Game 4 of the World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, I think this series has played out exactly how we expected it to. At two games to one, it's been tightly contested back and forth. We've got two teams worthy of being here, and I think this will go at least six games before it's all said and done. Yeah, really, the scores do the not say at all. This one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Davey Garcia is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in a day and age where we don't see very many complete games, six really good innings in his last start to pick up the win, and I think they'll be happy if he can do I think I really found my footing last That's game. Third. The first pitch. Davey. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Take off. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And oh. he will get there to make the running play. And I was just under it, but starting to kind of get my swing back a little bit. So coming to the plate, Jamie Lynn. 0 for 1 here in the early going. I'll contact swing if I need to. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. One ball and one strike oh, to the Diamondbacks' no, 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 first no, no, baseman. No, 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 no. Pitcher wants oh, to have a quick inning guys. right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Now a oh swing my gosh. and the barrel of the bat breaks in. Can two I beat it? Time. On to first, oh, and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning is over. Oh my gosh, I almost did. Come on, we need to get some hits right now. Stepping into the box, oh, Jamie Lynn. He got on top of one. It was a ground we out victim hits. last time. Yeah, I understand yeah. that, Matty, but this guy's got... Oh, and he can't hang on. And the sixth he inning still is freaking got me anyway. Now two away. Play ball. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh my gosh. Now to the plate, Jamie Lynn. Oh, quickly the down to their final four outs the here feet. tonight. Jamie Lynn. Here comes the first pitch. And there's well, a drive base hit to left field. So the two out hit keeps the top of the eighth hey, inning extended. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense They're playing is tired off. of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Find some green, baby. Find some green. And another throw over no, he's and dead. a dive, but he's back. And again, a throw. No, and he'll get back in safely. Right here, one time. Oh, my God. Once more, a throw Thank over. You. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. From the belt, kicks and deals. Get down, one and one. Come on, big guy, one time. Here we go. Now a throw over. No, he Runner did back safely. Trying to get that big lever, they're not letting me. The one runner, one. Runner, runner. runner goes. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and it eats up right him up here. a bit. That's huge. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. It's too risky to go home, but... I know, I was glad I was able to get there to third. Stepping in, Joe Adele. Oh, for two for him to this point. Joe Adele. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a Come swing on. and a high drive into left center well, field. I'm in. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall, and the side is retired. Well, we're down. We're going to be down three games to one. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory. And I need to have the probably one. like Time a three hit game. Check the line score as you see the key players At there in this two. shutout victory. Well, we watched a really. Mm. Backs against the wall now. Got to win the next three. First off, win this one. And then we can have the momentum of the home crowd on our side. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball.
It's the pivotal game five of the World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for game five. Well, they're down three games to one, so it's do or die time now. That's not a good place to be, obviously, but we do see some teams play their best when their backs are up against the ropes. The key is to just take it one game at a time yep, and not is. worry about one game how many at a time. wins you need. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. George Kirby has the ball for the fifth game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, not a very good start in his last one, Matt. Only four innings, so he did get a no decision. But he's a much better pitcher than that, and I know that they're... All right, rush this on. Coming to the plate now, Jamie first. Lynn. And he could give his guys an early yeah, yeah. lead if he can come through here. Yeah. Hey, now, Larry. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bullet back up the middle. Dang it. Scott is there. He two is gone. going. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. A strikeout by Mendoza. In now, Jamie Lynn. Oh, and he always nine. poses a threat, of course. Oh, One of the true superstars in the game today. Where? And it's a first delivery to him on the way. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center Dang it. field. Catch made in center. Well, we got a double the tag. Down, third. Down, down. The relay. Throw won't get him. A double tag. That's okay. A sack fly. Let's go, team. Let's go. It's 3 2. That's a huge inning. I kickstarted Riding that with a sack again, fly. Jamie Lynn, he hit a sack fly thing. earlier. Jamie. Smoked Lynn. on the ground. There we go. Side. Get and on base. base Get on lap, base. They've got themselves a base runner. There we go. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game Mendoza. down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge Ooh. series. Any big yeah, leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Lynn stands at first with one out. And the Not gonna gets steal. Him swinging, two yeah. gone. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And of course, the question on everybody's mind: Will we crown a champion here tonight? No. It's gonna happen in Phoenix, and it's gonna be us. So we're runner at first here with now two back. gone in the inning, the and sizing up the situation Whoa. to bat will be Let's Joe go. Adele. Throw over to the God bag, dang. and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. And again, a throw. Oh, and come he'll on. Dive back in. Runners on the move for second, but a good play by the first baseman wow. to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. One left for the diamond. Game's got a little hey, stagnant now for a few Dating innings. In and looking for more, Jamie Lynn. Gotta get a huge two-out hit two. here. Here comes the first pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Saws him off. Why did it happen again? Throw not oh. nearly in time as he reaches it first. 
That's, That's huge. great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knot. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat Come as on. a pitcher. You can read the angle. Let's get I know it. Let's that get that ball it. is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. A dive, but he's back. Come on, baby. One and two. Here it is. Popped up. Moncada is there. And the inning is over. No runs. Shoot. Still three to two. What? Well, you, you got your payback, Yankees. Are you happy now? From 2000, from freaking 31 years ago. You happy? Well, that's number 28 for them. show it's all over and you see the reactions there to the final out hey, I still got eight years at least at least eight years minimum and down on the field we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs I just didn't do well enough. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees. Five runs on five. Uh, we just just ran out of magic. I think that's what I think that's what happened. It just wasn't meant to be. The team just ran out of magic. I still, you know, you know what, as down as I may be right now, um, everything's gonna be, you know, everything's gonna be fine. I, I know it is. I know it is. That's a different Ryan Howard right there. <laughs> Definitely a different Ryan Howard. Oh, Mookie's gone. Houston still got pretty much the same core. Oh, yep, the Brewers. I ain't gonna be the same anymore. Yeah. But it still doesn't look like they lost anybody that significant. The 
Miguel Castro. Max Kepler. Some of the few real life guys <laughs> remaining. Yeah, I remember McKinney being my teammate. Poor free agent market. I never really looked this uh, deep into it, but oh, Jordan Zimmerman. <laughs> oh, that's a different kind of Jordan Zimmerman then. So, oh, Lindor, Bats, Machado. A conciliatory phone call. Hey, this you know what this this World Series, this this run to get there to the World Series. It is just the beginning. Advance to regular season. I mean, this really is just the beginning of what's to come moving forward. Let's see here. Got anybody significantly different? Oh, the end of August. Oh, gonna be facing Houston. August 30th. Late August. Two games at home against them and then the two on the road well insanity took off it's gonna be year number 13 I only struck out 10 times all year long that's it just 10 times 69 doubles now if I can have right around the same amount of doubles and triples I think that'd be great they had 320 hits that's how we finished 103 and 59 I've won the only MVPs for the Diamondbacks. Um, I think there was only like one batting champion ever before me. So yeah, that's going on. Um, yeah, there's only one home run champion ever. Only one ever 100 win season that got broken. Best record in franchise history just to fall a little short. Two thousand thirty one was definitely the year to build a foundation upon. That was an overachieving season to be honest. You know, these guys are gonna be only getting better. Carol can 
be healthy that'll be huge in its own right so I know that he was battling injuries so that's a new face gotta always kinda check you know and see who all you got um, Parkinson okay that's a new pickup where's Mendoza Oh, it's your... Oh, man. Hey, you know what? The way that this game goes, they'll they, they'll always find talent to replace someone else. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Dude, has that classic Asian face there. Tanaka. Okay. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's a few, there's a, there's a few new faces. Definitely some guys, you know, not, not there anymore, but. We'll watch him. Okay, that's it. Oh, well. This dude's at the end of his career, though. That's another new pickup. Okay. This team needs to definitely get younger. There's not too many of them, though. Gara, though, that's... A lot of these guys are in their 30s, right around the same age as me. Actually, a lot of them even older. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give a... Uh... A projection here and actually we'll check on the Yankees because now they're oh I forgot that they oh that's right I forgot they won the World Series one other time oh I forgot they did so they're at 29 okay well I, I don't know how I forgot the the one other one somewhere in there I don't know why. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give a projection here how this team's going to finish. Um, I think we'll be division winners again. Um, I'd say, you know, oh, 98 and 64. I think that's actually a pretty good mark. There'll be a little bit of a drop off, but worst case scenario would be like 92 and 70. So we'll be between that 92 and 98 win mark. Now, you know, on the, on the flip side, this could turn into a 110 win squad. Because they could just light a fire under them. I've seen stuff like this do that. But guys, uh, despite the uh, disappointing end there in the World Series, losing in five games, um, there's still a lot to build upon. You know, 
that was the first year of establishing a consistent winning culture for this franchise. So, you know, I'm not going to be too upset about it. I did not expect to be in the World Series in year two. So, that was by far an overachieving season. By all, in, in all respects. And, you know... You know, as, as I said, I I was wanting to contend for a championship by year three or year four. The fact that it already started having year two, that's that's progress of its own. So, and I think that we will actually, I think we'll win the World Series this year. I actually am feeling pretty good about that. I think we will actually win the World Series this year. So I will. Put that down at the end of my prediction. Stay tuned for year number 13.